What's going on everybody? It's Robinson here, as usual. It's a pretty crappy day in Jersey right now. It's about 35 degrees. It was 60 degrees yesterday on Easter. And we're getting like sleet and snow and all kinds of fun stuff. It's amazing what's going on. This is never ending with this weather. Anyway, um, I'm gonna sip my coffee first here. It's very important to get the day started. Ah, gotta look up. Um, I know I've been doing these vlogs week to week for the secret prep, but I think I've kind of fallen a little bit behind. So, I'm not sure where I left off, but I'm gonna try to remember where I did and go from there and give you a lot of information along the way. So, uh, a little while back, I was uh, finished off my weight at 178 and a half. My coach made a slight adjustment to drop my fats uh, from 58 grams to 50, but we left protein at 220 and carbohydrates at 170. We no made no changes on uh, protein and carbs. We've made a slight incremental change in fats and we introduced some cardio over the past two weeks. Now the first week, which was last week, or no, actually the week before that, it was two weeks ago, I did one cardio session, um, which helped me drop a little bit of weight. And then this past week, which was leading into Easter, so I can give the timeline a little bit better, my coach was hoping with the change in the fat um, that I was gonna drop down to 177 pounds. So, just to give you some background as to what's going on, my energy levels as of late have not been like up and down. Um, they've just been steadily pretty crappy, to be honest. Um, which is not uncommon during prep. Uh, I'm actually still eating the most food I've ever eaten during a prep at this point. Uh, I've only got five weeks left to go until showtime. Uh, but it's like one workout I'll feel pretty solid, not like you know, great, but I'll feel solid. And then the rest of the week, I'll pretty much feel like utter garbage. Um, and that's pretty much what happened all this week. So uh, Monday I felt all right. Uh, and we had the refeeds, by the way, like we're still doing the refeeds. So finished my, um, finished my refeeds on Monday. I felt pretty good. By Tuesday, I felt horrible. Um, I actually skipped a training day that day anyway. I made it up later in the week. I felt horrible. I had no energy whatsoever to train. Wednesday, Thursday, I kind of grinded through. Friday, I met up with one of my clients to train into chest to make up for what I missed on Tuesday. I also had a wedding Friday night, which I think screwed some things up for me. Um, but I did finish out the weekend or Friday. I was 175 and a half. Uh, but I, I don't know how accurate that reading was. I think I was a little dehydrated. I have been having some digestive issues um, where I'm just not going as regular as I should be. Um, I am keeping fiber up, probably around 40 grams a day, um, but my, you know, with the lack of calories and everything else, I am making sure to keep myself properly hydrated. I am taking a multivitamin that does have a probiotic in it. I am doing certain things, but it is what it is. My body's just not moving like it normally would move. So I had a little bit of a stomach issue come Thursday, you know, Thursday where it was just really upset with me, um, which made me go to the bathroom a lot. So I hate to be gross, but this is the reality of bodybuilding and it's the truth of what I'm going through. So therefore Friday I woke up at 175 and a half, which was well below the 177 that we planned on doing. Um, and I was supposed to do two cardio sessions this week. Because of what happened, I only ended up doing one. I didn't, and there's no point for overkill at this point, my coach agreed. Um, and as mentioned, I had a wedding Friday night. Now, I went out, I absolutely did not cheat. Um, I didn't do anything, I didn't have a beer. I didn't, all I literally did was sit at this wedding and have water. Um, I had no appetizers, I had no hors d'oeuvres. I had one little dinner roll, uh, because that would fit in my macros approximately, and a piece of salmon with asparagus because that was my entree, and that was pretty much it. Um, but when I woke up on Saturday morning, I felt heavily bloated, probably because, and this is why I hate eating out, there was probably more salt in that food than I knew, or fat for that matter, uh, which jumped me up to 176 and a half pounds. Now, that could be a mixture of rehydration from 
um, the stomach issue or a mixture of rehydration and salt. Who knows? You know, it's impossible for me to tell. Anyway, so after all this, my coach decided at this point it makes sense to introduce a three-day diet break or refeed if you want, um, but a slow load. So Friday or Saturday, I ended up doing 260 grams of carbs. Once again, fat stayed at two. Uh, protein stayed at 220. Sorry, and fat stayed at 50. Saturday, uh, Sunday, which was Easter, we went up to 300 grams of carbs. Um, once again, 220 and 50 for uh, protein and fats. Uh, and then this morning, I messaged him, and every day I'm messaging him my weight. So I went from 176 and a half on Saturday morning to 177 on Sunday morning. As of Monday morning, I'm 177 again. Um, which was good. That means my body absorbed the extra carbs. We didn't really see any move on the scale, which is good. And we were supposed to do 315 grams of carbs today. However, we're just going to level it off at 300 um, and finish off the diet break slash reef, three day refeed. And now we're going to start the push for the big grind. We're going to uh, probably drop carbohydrates again this week. I'm waiting for him to confirm which way he wants to go because I have been at 170, but we'll see. Uh, and cardio, I know, as far as I can tell, is going to be two times this week, about 20 to 25 minutes of a miss. With all this going on, um, my conditioning is great. I'm definitely the biggest, fullest, more, most complete uh, in terms of musculature I think I've ever been. Um, some of the assets I have, which are my chest, my shoulders, my arms, I think are even better. My back is by far more complete. Uh, and my legs, knock on wood, are the largest they've ever been and by far the most separated they've ever been especially in my quads which is something i really focused on in terms of going in my off season where both my back and my legs um but as typical you know as you're going through this and you're getting more depleted i am having a lot of issues with some minor inflammation um and i've been working heavily and i think this is the, the important part that a lot of bodybuilders or people who train like this miss is maintenance um it's you know i always talk about stretching and taking care of yourself and foam rolling and being proactive i am unfortunately always have a reason not to do what i need to do or i think i'm the exception to the rule so i tend to neglect a lot of what i'm telling my clients to do um and my body i know has a high pain threshold and can take a lot of abuse and unfortunately sometimes I rely on that too much and um, I just keep beating on my body and beating on my body and beating on my body and not listening to what it's telling me. So in terms of the inflammation, I have um, a right shoulder issue that if you follow my YouTube channel, I've been dealing with for years. Um, I actually think, I think it stems from an old bench that I did years ago when I used to have a more heavily flared form. Um, and I think I may have damaged something in the joint a long time ago, but I never got it looked at, typical me. So don't, you know, when I say be proactive, do it. Don't do what I do, because I end up paying for it in the long run. Uh, but anyway, uh, th this right shoulder has been acting up on me. Some days it's fine, some days it's, it's pretty um, irritated. So I do my best to work around it for now. However, I am working with a uh, massage therapist a guy named Jim Jennerich up in East Brunswick from Pro Star Massage. He is really, really good. He works with a lot of athletes, uh, powerlifters, bodybuilders. Uh, he does your gen pop too, but he specifically likes to work with athletes um, to increase mobility and fix a lot of the muscle tightness and strains and pulls and things like that. He's also good at breaking up the muscle and the adhesions um, so that I can see a lot more definition in my muscles than I'm used to seeing. Um, some of the feathering and stuff I couldn't get or separation of my legs that I couldn't get, I'm now getting because I've been working with him. He also does chiropractor, uh, chiropractic work, and he's been realigning my neck and my spine. Sorry, my phone keeps slipping in the holster here uh, because things are just off. And I completely screwed this up. Sorry. There we go. I don't know why anybody watches my channel. Constantly fiddling. <laughs> but, um been working with him specifically to realign my neck, get my hips in line, um, work through some of the scar tissue issues that I have in my knees from the previous basketball injuries from when I was younger, um, really work on loosening up my lower back and opening up my lats because the one thing I've always noticed as I pose is my left lat's always frozen 
However, and I'm going to put it in this video, you may have already seen it in the intro or somewhere in here. Uh, after working him with one session, my back looks completely different because now I can get all the musculature out. So these are all things that I've been doing this prep that I've never done in my previous preps. Um, sometimes timing is everything. You find the right person at the right time and it all works out well. So I've just been focusing on maintenance, getting the, the, the muscles to relax, release them, stretch them, um, and do the necessary work I need to do, especially as my body gets more depleted. My water is staying the same, everyone. I'm not cutting water. I'm still at a gallon to a gallon and a half a day. That will stay the same all the way through my show. I'm not cutting salts either. So sodium's in my diet. I need sodium in my diet so that I don't want to die and two, that I don't cramp up all over the place. Um, so it's just stuff like that that I've been going through. And the last part, I know it's already an 11 minute video of me rambling, but I want to talk about you know the mentality of all this. People glorify, or at least in some of the forums, I see people like glorify people being shredded um, and all that kind of. You know, they just worship bodybuilding and they think it's cool. Bodybuilding and getting on stage, whether you're on the enhanced side or the natural side, or there's no such you know I know some, there's no such thing as natty, whatever. I'm gonna glance right by that, but anyway. Um, it's not healthy, to be honest. And on the natural side, it's even harder because I think, in honesty, the guys who are on the on the IFBB side who are taking testosterone, it's easier for a little bit easier on them because of some of the drugs they're taking because they can at least put the hormones in their body where I cannot. Uh, and I'm not promoting doing that, by the way. I'm just stating a fact. Um, it it mentally starts to wear on you. And honestly, this entire prep, I've actually been pretty excited, supercharged, um, but going into this weekend, probably around Saturday, right before Easter, mentally I'm hitting that, that wall again of why am I even doing this? Um, I have other things going on between you know my career, my family, building my training business, all these kind of things, I have a lot on my plate. Now, as said, there's never a good time to prep. There's never gonna be a perfect moment unless somebody's gonna take care, you know, put you in an environment where there's no stress and pay all your bills for you and just let you train and eat. So that's never gonna happen. There's always gonna be hiccups and things along the way. Um, but just mentally, it was I was having a bad day. I was really hard on myself. Uh, I was not happy with how my leg workout went Saturday. I feel like I had more to give, but I didn't have it in the tank, but I gave the best that I had. Um, I felt bad for the client that I was training because or training with because I felt like he deserves more effort um, because I know he can go harder and I'm like okay but I can't and I'm giving it you know, literally I'm, I'm forcing every rep and every set to the best of my ability and after every set I'm kind of just shot and drained and it's taking me you know three minutes to get back into the groove again versus you know maybe a minute and a half something like that. Um, I can't go as heavy, even though I'm pushing as heavy as I can, I just can't go as heavy as I'm used to, th those type of things. And I was just really just beating myself over the head. Um, but then I also remind myself that I'm human, it's okay, I'm not a machine like everybody thinks I am. I'm not giving myself any excuses, I'm absolutely doing everything my coach is telling me to do. I've never cheated, I've never slipped, I've never fallen off the wagon. Um, I'm happy, honestly I am very happy with the way I look with a couple more weeks to go to really tighten it up. Um, you know, obviously I could always find things to be better, but it's I'm really impressed after the long off season, the amount of change that I see in my body compared to year over year, um, or years over year. And I, I don't really have anything to be upset about, it's just that this is the mental mind game that starts to happen. Um, so that's the psychological aspect. And if you're not mentally strong for this, it can it can mess you up bad. I mean, it, it could really just screw you up for life. You don't understand that this is a temporary thing. Um, and also the debate is, am I gonna just do one show and come out? Or am I gonna do a second show? However, I've been looking at the natural bodybuilding schedule and there's really nothing around the May 12th show that I would do after the fact in terms of organizations. Um, the one show that I would do, which is OCB on May 19th, I have, or have already committed to be somewhere else and be doing something else, so I can't do that. 
and I'm really not a big fan of doing back-to-back -back shows. Um, I want to give my body a little bit of at least two to three week break before coming back in to do a show again. Um, so now it's going to be a matter if I can find another show within a reasonable amount of time or am I going to really hold out, maybe do a small diet break and see if and I can if I can hold everything till August. That's a very, very long time and I'm not sure I'm willing to do that. Um, it's just, it, it might just be too much on my body and I don't want to sacrifice my look um, by holding out for like another 12, 14 weeks, something like that. Uh, it's, that's just, that can be brutal hormonally and everything else. Um, so I just wanted to show you that I am indeed human. I do indeed have the same thoughts of quitting. Why am I doing this? Um, putting the, the mileage on my body, the wear and tear does become brutal after a while. Um, and by far, and don't get me wrong, like, I'm not complaining, I chose prep. I'm just explaining to you where my mind is. Um, but it, it just, it's not what everything is cracked up to be. And the main thing too is I, I, I'm 37 years old. I'm not getting any younger. Um, I also have to start thinking of longevity. I don't want to stay in a dieted state too long. Hormonally, that can mess a lot of things up. That if I do it right, I will be able to recover from, but I may not be able to recover from if I stay dieted down too long, especially on the testosterone, testosterone end. Um, and I don't want to screw up my body. And I don't want to screw up my joints. Um, because when I'm done competing, whatever that is, and I don't know, this might be my last run. Um, for stage, anyway. Um, you know, I, I want to make sure when I'm 50, 60, 70 years old, I'm not paying a heavy price um, by doing what I've done or, or staying dieted down too long or pushing pushing harder than I should have or neglecting myself when I should have taken better care of myself. All right, guys, I hope this wasn't too long, but I wanted to get everything in one video and be utterly honest and um, let you know how I feel and what's, what's up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll talk to you later.